So let's have a look. We have these two integers x and y. We have these two pointers p and q. p is pointing to x and q is pointing to y. Okay. So over here I'm printing the address of the two variables x and y which are p and q. Then I'm printing x and printing y, dereferencing the two pointers. Okay. Then I want to swap the values of these two pointers. So after calling this function p will be pointing to y and q will be pointing to x. And to swap the values of these two variables inside the function, we have to pass them by reference. So this function takes the address of p and the address of q in order to be able to modify the variables inside the function. And then over here I'm printing the same thing to see that we swap the values. So let's type this function. It will return nothing, so void. It's called swap. It takes the address of a pointer to an integer. So we want a pointer to a pointer to an integer. So int star star. Let's call it p and also int star star q. So in this function, we want to swap the value of the variable that this pointer is pointing to with the value of the variable that this pointer is pointing to. So like we do always, we will use a third variable. So this variable over here should be a pointer to an integer. So int star, we will call it temp, will be equal to, for example, the value of this variable p. So this pointer points to p. So to get the value, we have to dereference this pointer. So star p. And we only dereference it one time. If we dereference it two times, we will get the value of x, which is 1. So, for example, if the address of x is 100, then p contains 100, right? And this pointer over here points to p. So, p is pointing to p in the main, which is equal to 100. So, let me comment this. So, when we dereference this p, as you can see, we will move along the arrow and we will get this value. So, this value is an address of x and we are putting it inside a pointer to an integer which is temp so now temp contains 100 perfect so we have our first address now this q over here points to this q which contains the address of y as you can see so suppose the address of y is 200 so the q in this function points to q in the main which is equal to 200 right so if we dereference this pointer in this function we will get 200 and basically what we want we want this pointer over here to be equal to 200 so this will make p point to y because it will contain the address of y so to do this let's first reach p so i dereference this so now i'm working with this variable which is this one over here so i will set this variable to be equal to the variable that this pointer q is pointing to so star q so over here we are saying that p in the main equals the value that this variable is pointing to, which is 200. So p in the main will be equal to 200. And this means that p in the main is now pointing to y because 200 is the address of y. Perfect. Now what remains is to make this pointer point to x. So we want the value that this pointer is pointing to to be equal to the value of the address of x, which is this one. So dereference q and we want the value to be equal to the value of temp, so temp. So we are saying that q in the main is equal to 100. So q in the main points to x. So now this code should swap the value of p with the value of q. Let's try it, build and run. Perfect, so as you can see, this was the address of x inside p, and this was the address of y inside q. And now the address of y is inside p. So when we printed p, we see the address of y, and when we printed q, we see the address of x over here. And when we dereference them, we have one, two, then we have two, one. So this is it. Now, if you feel a little bit confused, rewatch this video, but bring a paper and draw the pointers. So you see which pointer is pointing to what and what value it contains. And everything will be clear. 
And by the way, I never use a pointer to a pointer in this way. You normally use it whenever you write some death structures and it will not be as confusing as this. So it's okay if you don't understand everything perfectly. But as I said, rewatch the video and everything will be clear if you do some drawings and see the value in front of you, okay? So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.